Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm coming to you guys with a video that is a bit hard for me because this is a review on an accessory for my 2021 F-150 that I've actually always thought was incredibly stupid. So it's very difficult for me to come to you guys now and say that I actually love this. And what it is I'm talking about is the bed rug for the back of pickup trucks. I have always thought that this was incredibly goofy. Now the back of my truck is pretty filthy right now. I'm going to tell you it's because I want to see how this thing kind of cleans up with a leaf blower. So as I'm recording this video, I actually installed this back on August 30th and today is October 23rd. So it's been in there for about two months and I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of time with this thing, especially since it's something I've always thought was kind of stupid to really figure out if I liked it or not. And now that two months has passed, I do actually really love this thing. The bed liner that was put in here from Linex was just very slippery, kind of common issue with bed liners, especially when you start talking about things like plastic cases. When you put them in the back of the truck, they tend to slide around. It's not only annoying when you're driving, but also dangerous to the things you have in the bed of the truck. This one here is actually for stuff I have for my personal channel here, but for work, there's times that I have a seven or $8,000 drone kit in a larger plastic case, and I don't want that thing going barreling, smashing into bulkheads. Uh, it's just very expensive stuff to be sliding around the bed of the truck. I think a lot of people will right off the bat say, well, if you're hauling stone or uh, mulch or things like that, it's going to make it very hard to keep that clean. And while I would tend to agree with that statement, uh, I personally, if I'm hauling anything like that, the payload of these trucks is really not enough. You should be getting a trailer anyways so that you can actually haul more of it and it's just easier on the truck to tow around a trailer when you're especially hauling heavy loads like that. Anytime that I'm actually running around uh, with heavy loads, it's trailered, and anything that is lighter weight that's put in the back of the truck is usually something I'm trying to protect from getting damaged. Now, it's not lost on me how ironic it is that we spend a boatload of money to put rubber mats on the inside of the truck to protect the carpet, and then go and place a carpet in the bed of the truck where it's going to get most dirty. You're basically just competing ideas but it does start to make sense when you talk about protecting the stuff in the bed from sliding around. And I spent $395 on this. Now there are cheaper options. You could do a rubber mat, which I actually used to have in my very first truck, a 2001 Silverado over top of a plastic bed liner. Or in this case, uh, this I spent $395 on because it does go up the sides of the truck. Or you can just go with the under $200, just the bed rug that lines the bottom. And as always, I will link in the description down below to the bed rug and also the swing cases because I have been loving these things uh, for tool storage. They have been working out uh, very well and something that I think has been pretty good accessory, so I'll link to those as well. So running through this installation, it's pretty straightforward. First and foremost, unbox it and lay it out in the driveway. Let the sun sit on it. You'll see over the course of an hour here, it really kind of flattened out pretty nice on its own, which helps for maneuvering it around in the bed of the truck. Then into some of the things that took me a longer amount of time, removing the swing cases. Again, that is a, a time thing that if you don't have them, you can not have to spend that amount of time, but pulling those out, also then pulling out all of the uh, tie downs, the power boost 7.2 kilowatt hour generator panel, which yes, this does have the ability to cut that all in and make it nice and neat. It does take a little bit of time, but you can do it. I also uh, removed the tailgate work surface, which is unique to the F-150. They have this polycarbonate, or I think they call it a composite material that you pull off here. And I was able to tuck this up underneath, which is a very nice finish. I was happy I was able to do that. And once you get everything out of the bed, then you can go to just laying out all your tape. There is an adhesion promoter that you will need if you have a spray in bed liner. I did not order it from bed rug, but you can, or you can run like I did to Napa. It was a couple bucks for these adhesion promoter pads that you put down. I recommend you do it, otherwise the tape likely won't stick. And you just follow the instructions, lay the tape out as they tell you, super simple. And then that's where you start just getting this thing roughed in real nice. And that's where you want to spend some time is making sure that you get this thing set in the bed of the truck exactly how you want it. As long as you take the right amount of time to get this thing set up, um, it hugs the bed very nice. I think it's a very nice fit and finish. It's something I was very impressed with. Once you get everything all set up, that's when you can start to make your cuts for all of the tie downs, the power uh, plugs, and all of your lights. I found it was actually very easy to get everything to fit 
up until the very last part where I had to get the light switch and that was giving me a little bit of trouble and I was trimming around it. That's when I diced my finger. I went pretty much almost straight to bone. Luckily, I'm fresh on a tetanus shot, so wasn't really too worried about that, but it was a pretty bad cut and um, I had to uh, bandage myself up, of course, on the very last cut. Uh, aside from that, everything went very, very well. A little bit time consuming. The more time you spend, the better the fit and finish looks. But again, I spent just over four hours and very, very happy with the way that it turned out. So let me go ahead and show you how this thing looks. So here is just a bunch of cardboard. These cones I have here, I actually use for setting up uh, kind of a designated drone areas. Your traffic says uh, zero to it, whiskey turn right, crosswind for two one. Traffic. And this also does fit really well with the back uh, X4S Tanu cover. Everything fit well up underneath the uh, mounting points. So again, not a problem there. There's just some fibers, grass and stuff like that that's kind of stuck in here. We'll see how well that comes out. Let's try to see if I can just leaf blow some of this stuff out of the fibers and see how easy it really is to get cleaned out. Let's give it a shot. It worked out pretty good. As you can see here, most of the stuff that was in those fibers is gone. Just kind of blew it out pretty good. So I am pretty impressed with that. Now, of course, to demonstrate, this is the plastic case. This is similar to the drone case that I have at work, actually. The drone case at work is actually much bigger, but this, if you push it, doesn't really go anywhere and that's the whole idea get hard on the brakes and it doesn't go flying to the front of the truck which I find the moment you put something in the back that's when you get on the highway and the people in front of you decide to brake check things just go flying so I love this thing I'm very happy with it uh, it's also very quiet so if there anything does kind of move around or shift at all uh, it doesn't make a ton of noise there's also a comfort level of crawling around people always say that it's much softer on your knees, and I agree with that. Uh, I think it would be great for uh, camping or taking a nap in the bed of the truck, honestly. It has just enough uh, cushion to it that if you wanted to, you probably could sleep on it. I think it would be very interesting if you put a tent on the back of your truck and were camping outdoors. Uh, you potentially could maybe even not have to use uh, a bed air mattress. Uh, there's enough foam there to probably crash for maybe a night or two without that air mattress. I love this thing. Again, I'll link it in the description down below. And as much as I still think it's strangely a goofy idea to put carpet in the bed of a truck, I can say that I love it. It's been great and I'm happy that I did it. Now, do I regret getting the Linex spray and bed liner? The answer to that's no, I don't. It was still kind of expensive, but when I go to sell this truck, there's a good chance the bed rug is gonna be kind of gnarly by that point. So I can pull the bed rug out and at that point, I'm gonna have like a brand new Linex spray and bed liner that's protected the bed and it's going to look immaculate, which is going to help resale value and I'm happy with that. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time.